Hi, good day to you and welcome to my new YouTube channel, Hoogle Designs. Um, some of you might be following me for my previous channels, but this is my new one. It's going to be aimed more for the professionals, heading towards graphic design, web design, After Effects tutorials, Cinema 4D tutorials, and we're going to try and cover as many aspects as possible to bring it all together to make one final design, etc. So if it means using Photoshop, and to flash then I'll cover those but first of all the first tutorial is going to be a basic one it's really basic when you figure it out it's just be a bit awkward if you don't know how you're doing it when I make a website for many clients they always want a personalized um, email template they can send out to people that if you click it it'll come up with links etc straight on from the email these these are actually embedded into text so it doesn't show up as attachments it's based on a HTML base it's basically well basically what it is it's a mini website within an email this is quite convenient for people because it means the email sizes are a lot smaller because they're not actually got image attachments the viewer can actually see the images straight away rather than having to look at attachments it's rarely blocked content in emails so it just, and it just generally makes your emails look more professional ok so what will you need for this first of all you need a domain name if you've got a website then you've already got a domain name and you've obviously got hosting so you can just use piggyback up to back of there this today I'm going to use my com and you've just got to have a control panel and a file manager if you've not used FTP client before you'll need to copy these details I use 000webhost.com they're a very good little free web hosting site and I usually test all my client websites out on here first so they can get a live view ok and so domain obviously is com. username it's all provided there and your password ok to upload the files you need you need a FTP manager you need to use a quick connect and use port 21 I'm just going to put that connection because I'm not sure how old that is go to the create into the public.html right click and create a new directory this program is called FileZilla it's free to download just google it and the directory I'm going to call this case is going to be email templates obviously if you're doing hundreds of templates with clients and you're in charge of it all then you'll obviously want to create separate folders for each client etc ok so that's now set up I'm ready to go from the hosting side because the images are going to be hosted on the server and then embedded into the email you'll need Dreamweaver and just to make it easy just create a new folder see if you're creating a new website and inside that folder just have a folder called images with the images you want to embed into the website you can do these in Photoshop etc or you can use web graphics from your already existing website ok so let's open up Dreamweaver what we'll want to be doing now is create a new HTML document keep it blank and in between the body tags just press enter so you've got a bit of room to work with <coughs> excuse me I'm still recovering from a cold and we're going to keep this nice and simple for everyone I'm just going to insert a table because of my email demonstration I've got I've just got a header body text and a footer obviously you can actually embed whole websites in here and your documents can be a lot bigger but here's the basics I'm going to have three rows and one column ok and I'm not going to do any center alignment or anything because if you see Outlook will automatically default this so it fits in a nice preview pane then I'm going to go to file, save as I'm going to go to my email template and call this email template.html 
Okay, as you can see in my design view, that's created a mini table. What I want to do is click in there, in the top one, and insert my header. If I come to the common tab, I can see that I've got Im insert images, and I can navigate to my folder, which is on my desktop, email template, images, and select my header. Okay and I'm going to make these headers so they're clickable links as well to the website and I'm going to do this as I'm going to have to put http colon slash slash in because in the next stage it will be looking for this website from a local root directory so the http just lets it the link know that it's actually online and not my local directory and then I'm just going to do the rest site as normal rscsonline.co.uk ok so filling that in it's actually just created a hyperlink on this picture so that when you actually click it it will go to the website ok then in my middle row I'm just going to put sample text this is just so that when you actually load it into Outlook you know exactly where to write and it will keep the break there and then last one I'm going to go and insert another image and that's my footer okay, I'm not worried about the long URLs and stuff at the moment because I don't know them because I haven't uploaded them yet and I'm just going to get the link from my clients MSN that I was speaking to earlier and I'm going to put that link in there making sure that at the beginning it has the HTTP which I believe that one does ok and that is your website well that's the basics of a website that's going to be embedded into the email if you come into your email folder here you'll see you've got your images folder, still got your images and an email template if you click there it will take you to the website and for some reason please note that I've made a mistake because that hasn't got an active link on so if I come back to Dreamweaver <coughs> image source href ok did I not copy the link over properly Let's just copy it over again. Copy it here. And paste. Okay. Go into the live view. And there we go, that's done it this time. Save. <coughs> I don't know why that didn't work. I must have missed off a character somewhere. Okay, so I'll go to email template. And there you go, you can see I've got the link. And then that still works. Excellent. Okay, so now it's done. We need to open, keep this folder open. We need to load up our FTP client. I'm going to reconnect it because sometimes they automatically disconnect. I'm going to go to my email template directory, straight on my website. And I'm just going to copy these two folders straight into this directory here and that's updated so now I need to go to the actual control panel of here and select file manager it will probably prompt you for your password click continue and you want to navigate to your public.html email templates and then images then just right click open link in new tab right click open link in new tab and what you want to be doing is copying that coming back into Dreamweaver and where it says image source you just want to copy that over highlight it all, delete 
and then press Control V. As you can see, you've got your HTTP, so it tells it it's online. So it's now going to be downloading that image directly from your hosting directory. And you just need to do the same for your footer. Just edit copy. And then you go to image source. Control V. You can see you just want to make sure that your href links have got HTTP colon on and not just www because it'll be looking for it locally. So now you just want to go to file save as. It doesn't have to be in the same directory as your emails or your images because it's obviously got a link in to the actual image and not inserted into the HTML document. You just click save. It asks you if you want to update the links, and that's a yes. And then you just want to open it up, check that everything looks OK. Click OK, that works fine, the link. And that works fine. That's not my website yet, by the way. I'm still being developed. So now you just want to go into Outlook Express, or Outlook either. Go to create a new email. You want to attach a file. You'll navigate to where that HTML that you saved and click insert, put the arrow next to it and then put insert as text. So that's now giving you the HTML thing. If you see where it says sample text, you can change that to whatever you need for HTML email template and I can send that to myself just so that you can see it works and tutorial so once you just click send you can also save that as a template by the way so you don't have to keep inserting it and just come up here and go send and receive and as you see in my inbox it's a new one and there it is, as you can see it's embedded straight into the pane it looks nice it's centred it just looks more professional obviously if you're actually going to send this properly you're going to put more spaces in between the pictures so it doesn't all look bunched up <coughs> again I hope that was useful to someone and good luck because now you've got a way of sending out newsletters etc because it's all the same principle and your email sizes are going to be couple of kilobytes rather than a couple of megabytes. Okay, 